Shockheady, Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram, and Bob and Shockheady, Alfa Romeo Fiat. How many more cars are they going to sell at that place? <laughs> it's the Miracles and Promises Radiothon, and uh, we are here. We're got, we've got a power hour coming up, as a matter of fact, but right now we're talking to uh, a young lady. I, I don't do a lot of hours at this, but it seems like I'm running into the same folks. I said, I remember you and those two little ones who are much bigger this year. Debbie May, and it's what, Natasha and Matilda, which one's Natasha's? Matilda. Matilda? Okay. Matilda, you don't look happy. Can you smile? She goes, I don't want to be here. <laughs> there she smiles. She's smiling to the camera. Radio is boring, is that it? So Debbie, how's progress with these two ladies? Absolutely wonderful. They're how old now? Two and a half. Two and a half years old. They were born how pre, how much premature? I was 29 weeks and one day long. Okay. Was that a scary moment when you're premature? Or you've heard of people being preemies before? Yeah, they wanted to take them at 36 weeks, but uh, Matilda's uh, blood supply to her, to her was getting cut off, and they wanted me under observation. And once that corrected itself, Natasha's heart rate started plummeting. So they're like, you're having a C-section in an hour. <laughs> So, yeah, wow, that, that completely put me in the shock. Actually, I put me in the labor, because I remember laying there, and all of a sudden I started feeling labor pains. I'm like, oh, no, this is not good. And was that here? That was actually at the St. Elizabeth. St. Elizabeth.